So a couple of people have asked me why the sudden rugged look and it's not actually sudden. Let me explain myself. Unlike most of my other hair in my body, my facial hair is a serious underachiever. It takes too fucking long to grow. And seeing that next month is November or what we like to call Brovember. Brovember is a month that men get to grow their beards. So I decided I'm gonna start in October seeing that my shit doesn't like growing. I'm gonna start in October such that by November I'm with the rest of the guys. I don't look like the only 13 year old motherfucker out there. There is only one life hack that I believe in. A life hack is a basic idea or method that makes your life easier. And the only life hack that I believe in is self-confidence. Let me explain this. Self-confidence can get you through anything. Just that winning mentality can really change your outlook and your perception in every way imaginable. If you walk into a job interview like a pussy, those motherfuckers are also going to perceive you as a pussy and trust me, you're not going to get that shit. Let me correlate this to something that we all can relate to. Guys, I don't know where you pick up your women. Uh, bars, clubs, uh, retirement homes. You do you. I'm not going I'm, I'm to judge on that shit. But if you see a woman that you would like to know or date or better yet just bang, all you got to do is walk up to her like you're God's gift to mankind. There are a lot of guys who have got with women, not because they had a lot going for them, but just because they believed in themselves and they knew that in the end, I'm a winner. Confidence and a winning mentality has this mesmerizing factor. It's not just between men and women, it's across the board. And the best thing about it is that it is self-given. You don't have to go buy this shit anywhere. You don't have to go to school to learn it, no. You either have it or you don't. The other day I had someone say that uh, someone fucked up her self-esteem. How can someone fuck up the way you feel about your fucking self? It is your own self-worth. You're the one who sets that bar. If you decide that you're a 5, you're a 5. If you decide that you're a fucking 10, you're a fucking 10. So I, I don't really understand how you're going to let someone get you from thinking that you're a 10 to make you believe that you're a 6. There is that statement that says that you can be anything that you want to be. And trust me, it's true. It may not apply to everyone, but to your fucking self. If you decide that you're a freaking rock star, man, you're a freaking rock star. A winning mentality will get you through a lot of things. A winning mentality will enable you to perceive things differently. And the best thing about it is that it's an exuded factor. The fact that it's what you put out. And if you believe in karma, what you put out is what you get back. So if you walk around like you're God's gift to mankind, everyone's going to think you're God's gift to mankind. Even those guys who don't like you are going to think that you're great. So the bottom line to this story, know your worth and set your worth. What people think of you is not who you are. What you think of yourself is who you are.